TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability A variable is simply a named area of the computer's memory where data is stored. By using the name of a variable in a program, you can access the data stored in the corresponding area of memory and also change what is stored there. It is because the stored value can change that the word variable is used. This video will encourage you to experiment with some of the blocks associated with variables to give you a feel for what variables are, what they do and how to use them. Launch Sense, which should open with a new project, or click on the New button here to create a new project. A new project doesn't include any sprites, and you can tell this in this case because there are no sprite icons showing in the pane under the stage. Save your new project by clicking on the Save button at the top of the Sense window. When prompted, browse to the Session 2 subfolder of the Sense Programming Guide folder and save your project as spg underscore project underscore 08 underscore sol. Remember to save your project regularly as you work. In this exercise, you're not going to build or modify a program, you're simply going to experiment with variables. To do this, you'll simply run blocks in the scripting pane by double-clicking on them, with no need to use a green flag block to create a script. As there are no sprites, the blocks you create will be associated directly with the stage. Click on the Variables Palette button. You should now see two buttons, labelled Make a Variable and Make a List. Click on the Make a Variable button and you'll be presented with a dialog box. In this dialog box, type in the name Total and click on the OK button. Once you've done that, the Variables palette should look like this. The orange oval, labelled Total, represents your new variable. Notice that to the left of it is a checkbox that's currently ticked. If you look at the stage, you should now see this object. This is called a variable watcher. It's a visual representation of what has happened as a result of creating the variable total. It shows that the labelled area in memory has been created. The current value of total, that is the current data stored in this area of memory, is shown as zero. And that's the default value for all new variables in Sense. If you untick the checkbox next to total in the variables palette, the variable watcher will disappear from the stage. Try this for yourself. Tick the box again to make it reappear on the stage. And don't forget to make use of the pause and rewind buttons on the video controller if you need to go over anything again. You can move a variable watcher around the stage. Click and hold down the left mouse button and drag it to a new position. You'll find watchers very useful when writing your own programs. A watcher gives a live view of a variable, changing as the program runs. If your program is misbehaving, you should switch to slow motion or single stepping and use the watchers to monitor the values of variables. This will help you to quickly identify the blocks causing problems. In the variables palette, you should see, as well as a button allowing you to delete a variable, four blocks under the variable total which in text would be written like this. The last two simply make the variable watcher appear and disappear from the stage. The first two are much more important. Note that each of these blocks has two input boxes, the first of which offers a drop-down menu. This menu holds a list of the names of any variables that you've created. As you've only created one variable so far, the drop-down menu only has one item, that is total. Drag the set variable block into the scripting pane and enter 5 into the block's second input box and then double-click on the block. The total variable watcher on the stage should now look like this. You've updated the variable total to hold the number 5, that is, the data stored in total's memory area is now the number 5. Now drag the change variable block into the scripting pane, making sure that it doesn't snap together with your set block, and making sure that its input value is 1. Double click on the block change variable, and look at the total variable watcher on the stage. It should now show the total variable is holding the value 6. 
you have incremented the value of the variable total by one. Double click again and it should now show seven. If you now enter two into the change blocks second input box and then double click, you should now see that the total has been incremented by two. Double click again and total will again be incremented by two. Try entering negative numbers and decimal numbers such as minus five or 1.5. You should see that the value of the total is incremented and decremented as you would expect. Now in the scripting pane, type the word three into the second input box of your set block. Double click on the block. The total variable watcher on the stage should now look like this. The variable total now holds the string or sequence of characters three, T-H-R-E-E. -E. If you now enter one into the change block second input box and then double click on the block, you should see that the total variable watcher on the stage now shows one. So total is now holding the value one. Why? Why not four? Or F-O-U-R? Three is a string or sequence of characters. It represents a word just like banana or zeitgeist. It is not a mathematical number and cannot be incremented as a number can. When asked to do something numerical with this string, sense simply treats the string as if it were the number zero. Now you'll put it all together. Snap together your existing blocks in the scripting pane so they look like this. Create another variable called a number. Now two watches should appear on stage, one for total and one for a number. Remember that you can drag your variable watches into different positions on the stage if necessary. From the variables palette, drag another set variable block into the scripting pane and snap it to the top of the other two blocks like this. Ensure that a number is selected from the new set variable blocks drop down menu. Enter four into the second input box of this set variable block. Then drag a number from the variables palette and drop it into the second input box of the lower set variable block. Your stack should now look like this. Double click on the stack and observe the updated values displayed by the variable watchers. The variable total now has the value five and a number the value four. Can you see why? If you want to try this again, simply reset total and A number to their initial values of one and zero by entering suitable values into the input boxes of the set variable block in the variables palette and double clicking. It is important to understand what has happened here. In particular, to understand what is the effect of having a variable in the second input box of a set variable block. Let's go over what this stack does one block at a time from the top. Before the stack is executed, total and A number have the values one and zero respectively. Their watches are shown here. The block set A number to four sets the variable A number to hold to the value four. And it looks like this. The block set total to A number sets the variable total to hold a copy of the value held by A number. So the total now holds the value four. The block change total by one increments the value held by total by one. So now total has the value five. The variable A number is unchanged. It still has the value four. In the next video, we will use variables to modify our polygon drawing program. Until then, bye for now and thanks for watching.